cat. So we have the hand here. Um, so if I put it into three, it looks a lot nicer. Um, now I'm gonna attach it to the hand. Um, I made it separate as I found this personally a lot easier and it gave me a lot more room to actually model the hand but if it were done the um, body already I don't think it would give me much room so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the hand to the arm one issue what, what, is, what has happened with the hand is that it's the wrong hand so this is the left hand and on my character it's the right hand or uh, right arm that it needs to be attached to so, to fix this, I can just select the hand, go to mirror, mirror, and there it is. That side, right side of the hand of the arm. The only thing is, they're both connected now. So, I have to do something like that as well. To do that, just go into mesh, separate. And there are two different objects. So just delete that one, and there we go. Um, now I'm just going to center, center it. And it just makes moving it a lot easier. Now I'm just going to rotate it into the right position now. Until it's spot on. What's important? Now I'm going to go into this one and just go into face mode and just delete all the faces on the arm. See, on this one I already done that process, so I won't need to be doing that. Yes, yeah, I've done that, yeah. So, update mode again. Now, what I'm doing now is just trying to get it in the right place. So, just by rotating it, and just by moving it around a bit. So, once I do get it in the right position, then I can very easily add it together. Um, so, there are a lot more polygons in the, um, in the hand, and there is in the arm. A lot more edges and effectors. So that means I'm going to have to add some more effectors onto the hand here, onto the arm, sorry. So once they're in place like that, all I'm going to do is select both of them, go into mess, and combine. So now they're one thing. So if I center pivot again, go to the arm for reason, but now if I move it, then move the arm as well. This is so I can connect the four disease together. Otherwise, I would not be able to. Um, then I'm just going to go around and just connect them together. Once again, I didn't select off the point. Which I done a minute ago. So, I'm going to be leaving some points out as uh, too many points on the hand than there is on the actual arm. So I'm going to do this roughly just to show you how I actually did it as I have actually done this. So this is just showing you how I did it. Um, when I did it I took a lot more time, a lot more care. As I lined them all up so this is just showing you how I actually combine the arm to the hand. So let's put that point. So there, I actually selected that point over there, and that would have made the mess very confused indeed. So I'm just going to connect them all together now, like so. Um, so yeah, so we have a point here, which I'm just going to raise up a bit, so I can actually see it. Another one there, once again, just going to make it a little bigger, 
and make it really stand out so I actually know which how many four of these I have to make on the arm. Then one there and then two there. So now I'm gonna hold down shift and multi cut tool again. So I'm gonna need two here, so just click on the two, then enter. Once again, then enter. Then I'm going to voices and just connect them up again together. It's all fine. Once again, click off that, 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 then that, then. Then I'm going to keep doing that for all the others. So add one in there. See, I actually clicked on the one down there, which I didn't want. So I just hit the backspace and it does it automatically for me. I just need two of them. So after this, I will be doing, so as you can see that lead vortices aren't actually connected to anything. So I'm going to have to go back and shut that out in a minute, as I don't want any triangles or any, I don't want any shape other than a polygon, otherwise it just makes the texture in and the modeling, sorry sculpting, a lot more harder next time. Um, one thing what I did do when I was doing this, sometimes it's quite hard to see if you actually connected two points together, because in my hand there was so much geometry that I actually used a move tool so I can actually see if what points I selected. So for example if I select that point then if I go out here and select that one if I had it on normal I wouldn't be able to tell like that so I have no idea that I got that one. But if I press W which is the move button then I can tell that that isn't just empty. So that's one method what I used for that one. That way it just made it a lot more cleaner and made sure I would get in the right points. So I'm just gonna keep continue doing this. I think that's done. Yep. Um obviously in my model now I actually went around cleaned up a bit before I started creating new shapes, new polygons. So what I did is I went up in the arm, make up tool again. Um okay, I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start in the middle here. One, two, then down like that, then enter. So I did that wrong. So what I actually did do, once I get the right tool, I actually found a point where it was connected. I went one, two, three, four, like that. Press enter. Then I deleted them two. Like that. Then highlight it. Delete it, then we have four sided shapes. So one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, and they're all connected, so there's no spaces in between. Uh, I basically that for throughout the model on the arm to actually make it look a lot smoother. So if I just press three, so that looks like at the moment. Um, obviously, I Pulled the points out to make it look a bit more like a hand. Um, one thing, what I probably should have done, I should have made the hand a lot less, a lot more simple. Um, obviously, if I were doing this again, I would not spend the time and effort what I did into the hand. 
trades there are too much there are too many polygons there for such a simple part of the model and in the end it just made it a lot more complex than it should have been um, so if I were to uh, do this again I would not have spent as much time as I did in hand uh, could, as I would add in the more detail the tiny little stuff I did so if I moved one vector it would change the hand completely and it would look completely different um, which just made it a lot more time consuming than if I made it a lot more simple um, and also as it says in my research um, depends what the model is actually for so if it was for a video game and you're not going to be seeing the hand of the character then no, no point me spending a lot of time and resources into making hand that, that detailed because I'll just be wasting a complete money and effort and time um, and if I made it a lot more simple I would have had a lot more time to do other stuff on the model and it would have been a lot more beneficial for the company but yeah so after that I just added I just changed it a bit so I made the thumb a bit smaller I changed the little finger a bit um, to actually create the hand um, I will be writing that up but I will just quickly really explain it now so I created the palm the actual main structure of the arm hand sorry and then I made a finger then I just duplicated that and making them bigger, smaller, thicker and thinner um, this is just because I it's a lot quicker and there's no need for me to repeat the same accent we're going to do five times so yeah and then all I did was just stitch them up which I will quickly show you because for this one I did it in a different way so I'm just going to select them edges delete them so here we are, so if I press on that edge there, and that edge, we have to select all of the outside of that, all the outside of that, so I'm sure with that button, or maybe it's No, not add the vision, no, but when I connected the hand together with the with the fingers to the actual hand, I actually used a different method to the other two ways. And I'm sure it was this one, but I'm not 100 percent definite why it's not working for. That isn't the one. Oh, there we go. <sighs> for this one. So it's the bridge one. So it was actually on smooth path. And obviously I'm not on smooth mode. That's smooth mode. That's not smooth. So linear path. I actually only wanted one division. So just go back. Apply. Or I can even have it in zero and it'll just connect them together. Like that. Um, that's the way I did the hand it was a lot more easier because it was a lot more detail and it was a lot easier just to do it that way as I was just connecting two parts together and it wasn't as complicated as the other elements I have in my design so 